On the ice right now from Russia, Svetlana Kulikova and Arseny Markov. In fourth place after the original dance. One of the interesting things is this is one of the two couples in this group that have moved to the United States. It's still both Russians, both couple, both people in the couple are Russians. They come from Russia, but they have come here to train with Tatiana Tarasova in Newington, Connecticut. Almost none of the Russian teams that you see on the scene right now are still in Russia training. And that's one of the specified lifts. The rotational lift has to have a minimum of three revolutions by the lifting partner. That's where we saw such a turn there. And this is one of the two or three dance spins. Remember, the skaters must face each other in that. Have no change of foot. How many CDs do you think Ice Dance teams go through trying to find the right music? It's every, so important. Every skater goes through a thousand CDs until they find the piece that they like, and then all too often they end up with Carmen. <laughs> that was a little bit uh, ill at ease, it seemed to me, that list, lift. Some of their uh, steps just sort of seemed to come out of nowhere that don't quite relate to the music. mechanical instead of elegant and flowing and the music fire on ice you sort of want the fire to melt the ice this is what is called a midline step down the center of the ring. And the holes are buried as they move, they, but they must stay hand in hand for the length of that dance sequence. effective toe steps. Remember, toe dancing in ice skating is the most difficult kind of dance you can do. Well, the crowd loved it. Yes, well, that was very effective. The toe stepping is very hard to do. It's very hard to keep your speed going to, and, to, and just not to stop and look as though you're standing there doing toe stepping. That was a good element, I think, that they did. And of course, it was at the right moment in the program which built it nicely to the end. And I think that's one of the major reasons why they get this good hand. They're getting this good hand at the end. Their third straight year at Skate Canada. A couple of years ago, they finished ninth. Last year, fourth. They're trying to better that. Make it to the podium this year in Quebec City. Kulikova and Markov. Now, this was the long midline step that they were doing. 
very very difficult steps and turns and rations and and I mean it's kind of a nice uh, quality it, it certainly is frantic that's for sure uh, they didn't just slow that one down at all Maya Usava on the right side of the screen one of their coaches on the world champion herself one of the great skaters ice dancers really beautiful uh-huh is it a requirement in the rule book that men have to have shoulder length hair? Well, I, stance? I think the fact, number one, if you have it, flaunt it. Number two, it, it tells you that they're an ice dancer. 5.0 to 5.4 for the first set, and second set, 5.0 to 5.6. They've pulled ahead of Denkovan Stavisky. That's why they're hugging in the kiss and cry area.